I'm going to, in this video, show you how to do some basic analysis uh, videos. Uh, and I'm going to use the frog hopper as an example. So the first thing here is that uh, if you go here, and this website will look a little different uh, when I'm done updating here in a sec. But if you go in here, you can um, actually find videos, right? And, and uh, the videos, the, the measurements are here. So if you click on that, notice that we have some measurements of things. We took a tape measure, we measured that. That's 2.84 meters across the top like that. Uh, uh, the other thing, whoops, okay, let's see. I want another tab just like that, and that was a fail. Okay, so I'm just going to find it again. Okay. Um, the other thing that, um, that we want to do is you're going to want to go in there and actually get this Right, so here's a um, here's a video there, and I think it's like this video that we're going to use the front video, right? I'm not going to download it right now, but there it is, right? And then I'm going to run Logger Pro, okay? And I'm going to there it is, okay? I'm going to insert a video or insert a movie. Right, and I have that on this folder in my uh, right there. Frog Hopper front. I can't remember. I think it's this one. Let's try that one. Oh, that's a fine video. There I am, right in all my glory. Right, and you might make this a little bigger. Here are the video tools. They're hidden. I don't know why they are hidden, but there they are. Right, and the first thing I want to do is get that whole Frog Hoppery thing in sight. So that's about the highest it gets. We know that this, if you go here, we know that this is 2.84 meters. So let's just go in there and tell it that it's 2.84 meters. That's what this button is. So I click on that and then I drag across the frog eyes like this. Right above the frog eyes. And it says, how, how much distance is that? And I'll say it's 2.84 meters. Like that. Now we're set. Um, I'm going to find a part of the ride where it's kind of going jiggity, jiggity, jiggity up and down. Okay, so let's uh, let's hit play. He's going to head that back. There. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Okay, so this seems to be the height of the jiggityness, right? Okay, so I'm going to wait till it gets to the top of a hill here. And I'm going to start at the top. I mean, you could start anywhere, but I'm going to start at the top. I mean, it now knows what, a dis what distance is on here, so it can actually get position from it. And to do that, I'm going to use this tool. Now, one of the annoying things about this tool is that it leaves a big blue dot right where you click, and it's a giant blue dot, and it covers up what you're trying to click on. So I'm going to use the left side of it. I'm, like, poking me in the head. I'm going to use the left side of the crosshairs simple fix right and all I'm doing is accurately clicking on this edge of this thing here as much as I can and I really don't care about left to right I'm just clicking on this thing I'm just clicking on up and down is what we care about right so right now it's going down but it's going down slower and slower which is by the way a positive acceleration right of a big one. Oop, now it's going up, right? It's going up faster and faster. That's what makes it so frog hoppery. And the question that we're answering here, not answering here is, you know, what is this acceleration that it's got? Why is it so frog hoppery? What makes it it's the ride that it is, right? Kind of a lame hop right there. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, we got a nice little like this, right? What I can do now is I can go in here. This is um, position. That's somewhat um, 
deceptive, right? So what I can do is I'm just doing a left click on that, right? And I really just want Y velocity. Well, now that's interesting, right? Here's a region where it's gaining downward velocity, so that's a negative acceleration. Here it's gaining positive velocity, so that's a positive acceleration, a negative acceleration, right? So to get the acceleration, acceleration is the slope of this graph. So I'm just going to select this, and I can go up here to Analyze, Analyze, Linear Fit. And isn't that interesting? Look at the units of this thing, right? Minus 4.03, that's meters per second squared. That's a g-force, right? In fact, in g's, right, in g's, we'd go 4.032 is what I'm typing here, right? Okay, divided by 9.8. That's about, well, that's about 0.4 g's, right? You can rough, roughly divide by 10, right? So that's what we're pulling is about 0.4 g's, which is, that's kind of fun, you know, downward acceleration, right? Okay, and then let's get the upward acceleration. This looks to be a bit more. I'm just going to select this upward part here, right? Analyze linear fit. Well, that's kind of fun. Look at that. That is nearly a full g. That's like 8.15, right? Notice what it's doing here because velocity graphs are hard to interpret, right? Here we were moving down. We stopped and started moving up. We were moving down, and we stopped moving down and started moving up, right? That's a, what, that's a positive acceleration, right? Okay, this is the best way to get acceleration. So this is another negative one. I can go analyze, linear fit. There we go, right? And what that means then is that the upward accelerations of this thing are going to be a, almost a G, right? Which, is, that's kind of exciting, right? So I could take this, this picture here, right? And what I'm doing is I'm hitting the print screen button on the keyboard. That was that noise you just heard, right? And then I'm going to run PowerPoint. And I can start, you know, it's like, here's my presentation, right? Uh, I'm sure you are going to come up with a better uh, thing for this. And then let's see, Control M. And I'm going to choose a blank slide. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to paste. And that's just too big for me, right? Let's look, make it smaller, right? Okay, so there it is. And really, you don't need a lot of words on here, right? You can just say uh, uh, photo analysis of the frog hopper. Here typically are these things, right? The second thing you're going to do maybe for the frog hopper is you're going to ride it with your accelerometer, right? Um, and... Uh, your accelerometer is why it's this guy image freeze. All right, hey, why is the image frozen? Okay, how about that? You don't freeze. There we go. Okay, it's gonna be this thing here, right? You're gonna hold this thing vertically like this, and um, you'll be able to measure the g-force by looking at how far. At looking at how far this thing moves, if it sags, say, that distance, right, then if it sags twice that, that's 2 Gs, right? Okay? So um, you could compare it to that. You could say, look, these G-forces, we, we also measured a G on our accelerometer, right? And here's the exciting other thing that you could do, right, is you could, um, you could actually go back to Logger Pro, and let's do a totally different thing, right? Let's suppose you requested video, so I'm going to... Um, Usually you would save these changes. I'm just, you know, I'm going to do this. Okay, you could go in and uh, on the Oaks Park page, right, you can go uh, and look in these media folders, right, for the frog hopper. See these things that say CMBL? Those are actually uh, acceleration, so frog hopper vertical acceleration 1. Right, you can take that, save the link as. No, click on it because it like tries to open it up. And I'm just going to put it in the frog hoppery uh, folder desktop. Where is it? There it is. Right, and then I could save this guy. Right. And of course, I've you know done this before. Right. And then let's go back to Logger Pro. And let's just open that file. Right. It helpfully suggests a not useful location. Okay, frog hopper. And there it is. Right. 
And then I tried to like link these videos in there, it just didn't work, right? But we could take this and uh, make this nice and big, right? And here's a frog hoppery part of this thing, right? Notice that we got, in the other thing that we got, right, um, we were getting, uh, hello, please move mouse. There we go. Okay. We were getting, if you recall, accelerations. This is like almost a G of positive acceleration, right? This is like half a G of negative acceleration, right? Well, let's take a look at this, right? Remember that zero is right about here. If you hold the accelerometer level and it's not moving, it's going to read 9.8 because it's feeling Earth's gravity, right? So here's zero. As you go along here, here's zero. Isn't this about, you know, I don't know, it looks to me like it's about 8 meters per second squared more than that, right? This is exactly what we get. And then if you look, our negative Gs are on the order of about a half a negative G. It would be kind of fun if it was like zero Gs, right? So this is, again, this is zero Gs, right? In other words, we, we feel one without accelerating at all on a ride, we just feel one G. This is less than a G, right? Okay, so that's the that's the part where it's, um, that's the part here where it's accelerating down. So that's pretty good agreement, right? We got negative almost half a G, right? Okay, so that's this part here, maybe one of these guys or this thing here, right? Because negative four would be about six roughly, right? Okay, and then here we had, uh, uh, when we were moving down and stopped moving down and started moving up, this is a weird graph, right? Here it was almost two Gs, right? Well, indeed, there this would be about two Gs here, and it's almost two Gs. So this is a good thing. In your presentation then, right, we could take uh, this picture here, and uh, let's go back to the PowerPoint slideshow. Let's get out of that. Let's put it, let's paste it in here. I'm clicking there. I'm going to paste, right? You can actually take these things and crop it, right? You can use the uh, Heidi Crop tool. I've had a hard time pasting just the graphs from Logger Pro. I don't know why this is. Um, somebody smarter than me could figure it out. But, you know, anyway, I have to click somewhere to deselect it, right? And then you could, you know, here you are, right? You could... Uh, you could be talking about this, right? And really, in your presentation, you don't need any words. Please don't read a bunch of words to us. We're just going to glaze over and stop listening to you, right? But you could go in here in your PowerPoint, right, and, and be like, uh, you know, ballpoint pen. It could be all like drawing you know, stupid things like here's a, there we go. And then here is, you know, here is a, used to be able to hold the shift key and draw like a straight line. Remember, this is zero, you know, blah, 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 right? be all the expert but really just show us graphs show us pictures um, of the ride don't put a lot of words in there you, you've done enough right we I would say you you get an A plus for this ride if you do that and there's lots of rides you can do anyway I'm gonna escape do I want to save them no all right and then I'm gonna stop this